Right now, we want to pray for grace to love and obey God. How many of you are God's children in this place? You are God's children. You are sure God is your father. So many people have accepted Jesus as their Lord and Savior in this camp. All right? So beyond the confession, there is something that is expected of us as God's children. And that is living our life in obedience to who? In obedience to who? To God. But the flesh cannot do it. The flesh cannot obey God. We need the grace of God to live a life of total submission and total obedience to God. And it is that grace, that enablement, that empowerment that we want to pray for right now. And I want you to be connected in the spirit. I want you to be intentional. I can see a, a lady talking over there. I want you to be intentional this morning about seeking the face of God for answers. I pray that the Lord will bless us in Jesus' name. Can we say thank you, Father? Thank you, Father, for loving me. Thank you for dying for me. Thank you for forgiving me. Thank you for accepting me. Can we begin to thank the Lord? Open your mouth and appreciate God for loving you. Say, Father, I thank you for loving me. Thank you, Father, for dying for me. Thank you, Father, for accepting me. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. We are in the hours of prayer. Father, thank you for your love. Thank you for your love. While we were yet sinner, God died. Christ died for us. Father, we bless you for loving us. Thank you for accepting me. Thank you for forgiving me all my sins. Thank you for accepting me as your child, as your son, as your daughter. Father, we worship you. Father, we exalt you. Be lifted, O oh God. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. How many of us have friends in this place? You have friends. You have someone you call your best friend. You know, when you are relating with your best friend, you want to do everything possible not to make the person angry. You want to do things that the person likes. You want your friendship to continue like tea forever. So sometimes you even go out of your convenience. Something that is not convenient for you, you say, let me just do it for her because, because what? She's my friend. Because I like her. Is that not? Sometimes you will share your food with your friend because you like the person. And that's how much more God. God is our father. God loves us and he expects us to reciprocate this love, to love him in return by obeying his command. I want us to open to John 14, verse 15. The multimedia can help us because of time. John chapter 14, verse 15. I want to quickly show you what loving God, uh, how to show that you love God, what loving God means. Can we read together? I want to go. Let's take that again. Want to go? And that is it. You cannot say you love God and you are not keeping his commandment. You cannot say you love God, and you are doing things that will make him angry. You cannot say you love God, and he says don't do this, and that is the exact thing you want to do. You cannot love God and love the devil at the same time. So if you love God, you will keep his commandment. First John 5, 3 also says, loving God means keeping his commandment, and his commandments are not burdensome. So this morning we are going to be praying that God will help us to love him. When you love God, the more. The more you love God, the more you want to do things that are pleasing to him. Are we together? Are we together? The more you love God, the more you want to do what? Things that are what? Pleasing to him. So we are going to be praying this morning that, Father, open your mouth. Father, take me deeper in my love for you. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray to God. Open your mouth and pray to God. Say, Father, take me deeper in my love for you. Take me deeper in my love for you. In the name of Jesus, take me deeper in my love for you. That song says, take me deeper in love with you, Jesus. Hold me close in your embrace. When you are deeper in your love for God, when, you, when your love for Christ increases, when your love for God grows, to, to please God will not be difficult. You will walk in his ways. You will obey God. You will walk in his precepts. Open your mouth and pray. Father, take me deeper in my love for you. In the name of Jesus, help me to be deeply rooted in my love for you. In 
the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Can we say, Father, please give me a humble heart to yield to your instructions and obey you at all times. Open your mouth and pray to God. These are simple prayer points. Open your mouth and pray to God, Father. Give me a humble heart that listens to your instruction, that obeys you at all times, not when it is convenient, not when it is convenient, that obeys you at all times. Give me a humble heart that listens to your instruction and obeys you at all times in the name of Jesus. Father, touch my heart. Every element of pride in my heart, Father, take it away. Help me to be humble enough to obey you, to obey you, to obey you, to obey you at all times. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Let me explain that prayer point to us. Many of us think when we say obey God, it is God that will now come down and give you instructions. Say do this, do that. There are so many things that our mentors have corrected us about since we started this camp. And some people have decided to still continue doing those things. Hey, stop making noise. Don't disturb. Immediately you turn your back. They are already disturbing. They don't know that indirectly it is God that is giving you instruction through your mentor. Sometimes it is not, in fact, it is not about God himself coming down to tell you. You read instructions from his word. Through your teachers, he gives you instruction. Through your mentors, through the pastors. So the moment you find yourself rebelling against those instructions, you don't love God. You are not, you are too proud to, to humble yourself. Some people will say, See, see the mentor. I'm even taller than her. How can she be giving me instruction? That is pride. So we are going to pray again that Father, touch my heart. Every element of pride in my heart that is making me to disobey you, that is making obedience difficult for me. Father, take it away. Open your mouth and pray. If you are looking at me at this time, you are proud. Open your mouth and pray. Say, Father, give me a humble heart. I just want to obey your instruction. I just want to love you. I just want to obey you. Loving God is obeying God. Loving God is following his instruction. You cannot love God and disobey him. Let's pray to God. Father, touch my heart. Touch my heart. Help me to be humble, to obey you, to obey all your instruction. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we are prayed. In Jesus' name we are prayed. Can we say, Father, please release upon my life. Uh -uh. Please release upon my life the grace for obedience to you and to your word. See, there is a grace that comes upon a man that makes obedience easy. I'm sure that Joseph had that grace. That was why even when nobody was there watching him, his father even thought he was dead. So nobody could have monitored him to say, let me go and report you to your father. Nobody knew him. He was in a completely strange land. He still obeyed God. He still loved God more than himself, more than the flesh, more than what the flesh was requesting. That was why he could tell Potiphar's wife that I cannot do this and sin against God. Even though God was not there physically, but he knew God was with him. And he loved God so much that he did not want to do things that would be unpleasant to God. It's a grace. Let's pray to God this morning that Father, I also receive the grace. The grace to obey you in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and pray to God. Father, release upon my life the grace to, to live an obedient life. The grace for obedience, not half obedience, total obedience. That I will not be like Saul who obeyed God half, 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 half it, it was It was disobedience. You know, he obeyed God half, halfway and he disobeyed. And that is not obedience. Let's pray to God that, Father, I receive the grace to obey you, to obey you at all times. When my parents are there and when they are not. When somebody is watching me and when somebody is not. The grace to obey God. The grace to obey God at all times, when it is convenient or not. Father, we receive this grace this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Lastly, say, I receive the grace. Some of you are not talking. I receive the grace to say no to the world and my fleshly desires and to say yes to you. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. Father, I receive grace 
to say no to every worldly desire. In the name of Jesus, I receive grace to say no to the flesh and to say yes to you. In the mighty name of Jesus, I receive grace to say no to the flesh and to say yes to you. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. As I pray, please say a big amen. Father, in the name of Jesus. Everlasting Father, we thank you for accepting us. Thank you, Father, for your goodness. Thank you for your love. Father, we say be lifted in the name of Jesus. Father, we have cried to you this morning for grace to love you the more. Grace to grow deeper in our love for you. That we might live an obedient life to you. Father, we receive this grace this morning in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.